we fight for freedom, we are the Freedom Fighters Group, and we will do whatever it will take to make, bring the economy back so everyone can challenge and live happy life. The government cannot deprive us from life, uh, liberty or property. So we will do whatever it will take that we will be back to us normal life like before. I escaped communism and what I experience right now, this is exactly what makes me feel like I'm back under Soviet Union dictatorship. So we the people, we will do whatever will take that we will have our freedom back, our republic back. It's a shame that somebody from a different country has to point out the, the dangers of socialism and what it can do to our, our country. And it's, uh, she's putting up a brave fight, willing to go to jail, stand for her principles, and I'll give her all the support she, she needs. Marlena stood up for what many basic Americans take for granted, and that's your freedoms and liberties. Uh, I get that some people are very nervous about the pandemic. It is real. Uh, and these are uh, concern, concerning times for everyone. But Marlena and all of us um, believe nothing is more important than standing for your individual, uh, your individual liberties and freedoms. And I'm very proud of her. Uh, she not only went to jail, she was willing to stay there. I don't understand why they had a transporter 90 miles to a uh, prosecutor or arrest her. Um, and then they had her in leg bracelets or whatever you call those things, the shackles or arms. Yeah. Yep. I, she's not a threat like that. Too. So people have to remember that what government can give you, a big government can give you, they can also take away real quick. So I think people have to be vigilant as to uh, what's going on. Um, and I'm proud of her for what she did. I mean, this is, this is kind of one of those things where you're looking at it going, why are we doing this to ourselves? We're supposed to be a constitutional republic, and this isn't the way it's supposed to work. We're being held hostage by, by the state, really. We're here to celebrate her, her opening, her grand reopening is October 2nd. So we're just here to kind of break bread and, and have fellow patriots and other people come and kind of celebrate that small victory.